Hey there! The Better Stock Craft Challenge has officially ended and we have a winner. Gigoplex 777's R2 SSTO takes home first prize amongst 53 entries. In second place, you might recognize Filthy's Wolfen Hybrid, and bringing up the rear is my very own Bolt. First off, if you don't know what the challenge is all about, then head over to the forums using the link in the description to check it out. There will also be download links for all the designs there as well. I recommend you take each craft for a test flight to see if you agree with the judges' decisions. Let's take the champion's design for a quick flight over to the island runway. Now, Gigoplex is no stranger to taking home the first prize in these challenges. He's managed to nab the top spot three times before in this competition series, and he actually won this one on a landslide. Very impressive, and I have to say I can see why. The R2 is one hell of a fine looking piece of machinery and has performance to match. Using the dual rapier setup was also a nice touch and seemed to be a favorable design trait amongst the boaters. The signature look of the R2 is achieved by using those two jet fuel tanks to really stretch out the main body of the design. This is something I might actually start doing as it frees up a lot of real estate to work with when mounting wings and fuel tanks. My first SSTOs used these tanks, but I need to start using them again. The flight characteristics of the R2 were also near perfect, which is made even more impressive by its lack of canards and using only a single reaction wheel in the tail. The R2 is virtually impossible to flip as strong pitch commands can't overpower the stability of the design. This is a great feature for a craft targeted towards newer players. Hard turns won't put the pilot into awkward situations that involve uncontrollably spiraling towards the ground. Smooth handling generally earned any design in this contest a high score, and it shows here with the R2. Overall, this was an excellent SSTO. It might have been a little too good for a stock craft challenge, but it's hard to say something was actually too good for a competition. <laughs> Gigoplex hit the ball out of the park in all categories here. Try taking it to orbit and share your feedback on what you think of the design. Kudos to Gigo for his SSTO and taking first place yet again. Maybe someone can dethrone him in the next challenge. The battle for second place was a little closer than the one for first, but in the end, Filthy's Wolfen Hybrid beat out the Bolt to take the runner-up position. If you saw my last video that covered how I judged all the designs in the competition, you should recognize this SSTO, as it was the example design that I used. I already covered all aspects of its design once, so I won't repeat myself here, but if you're curious to know more about how I evaluated all the SSTOs in the competition, then check out that video. The Wolfen actually resembles the R2, so it's interesting to see two similar body types and engine configurations take the top spots in this challenge. This is probably due to the designs more closely resembling the original Ares 4A's dual turbojet setup and overall size. Smaller designs ditch the style of the Ares, and I think that cost them points in some judges' eyes. Adding rapiers to a design is definitely a good idea, as at least one stock craft in the game should be utilizing the new engine from version 23. The Wolfen utilizes the rapier very well and performs great, and is a good example to follow for newer players that might be considering using it in their own designs. Bringing up the rear is my submission, the Bolt. I honestly didn't expect a podium finish from such a basic design, but I won't complain. Emphasizing simplistic construction must have been valued highly though in order for this design to make it so far. For stock craft, that isn't a bad idea. Handing a new player a design that can be easily reconstructed is important in my opinion. I opted to forego the Eris' aesthetic and showcase how smaller SSTOs can be effective designs. Starting out larger can lead to problems and scaling up a small design is much easier than scaling up an already sizable SSTO. I left a few design flaws in there, such as an overly stable flight characteristics and a small fuel budget. This would hopefully give the player something to tinker with to try and improve the Bolt's performance. It isn't much to look at, but I'm planning to do a follow-up design to bring in some big improvements. Keep your eyes open for that video. Anyways, there you have it, the top three designs as voted by the users on the KSV forums. I highly recommend tuning in for the next challenge if you're interested in this sort of stuff or just looking for something new and fun to do in KSV. I don't have any idea what the next challenge will be, but it will be likely announced in the coming weeks. That wraps it up for this video. As always, thanks for watching and take it easy.